Jeep's dirty. 21 days out. 21 days, there's a nice car. Um, so, on my way to do fast cardio right now. A bit earlier of a start, which I'm happy about. Um, eight o'clock, so finally up and running the way I should be. Doing cardio in the morning, not at noon, the way I should be. So, um, I am freaking so happy to say that my appetite is back. I woke up this morning at 194, which is strange because yesterday, yesterday I was 192. But um, I don't think I'm fully digesting di digesting food right now. So I don't know what it is. Um, I had a little bit of a stomach ache last night. I did have red meat again, which I think that's what was doing it before. I think it's just a little harsh on my stomach, but I had very lean red meat, so I don't know. But um, I feel really, really good. I woke up and I looked really, really good today. Maybe I'll give you guys a physique update later in the, in the vlog in the day, but um, I feel awesome. I feel right on track right now. 21 days, plenty of time for me to get to where I need to be. So the nerves are gone. Now that I know, okay, we're good. I got this. I know how to do it from here on out. It feels so good today. Really, really good. I'm excited to, uh, my meal one's gonna be different today, so I'm excited about that. But, um, so yeah, just gonna go get this 30 minutes in. Oh, I love getting mail every day. Woo! Look at those deals. Post fasted cardio meal. So there's three ounces of uh, ham. I've got five egg whites. No, six egg whites, one whole egg, sauerkraut, there's mushroom in there, there's onion in there. And then I'm gonna have a serving of the nuts and more toffee crunch. And then this guy is replacing my oats today. This mighty muffin, s'mores flavored. We'll see, check out the macros on it. Pretty good. Six grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein with five grams of fiber. So, <clears throat> that's pretty good. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all this. I'm gonna try, but we'll see. So it's late at night now. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm having my last meal. There's uh, four ounces of chicken, a whole bunch of spinach, and some banana peppers on there, um, just for flavor. I didn't get any footage today. I went to the gym alone for the first time in a long time. It was actually really nice. Um, it's great having lifting partners, especially to push you and motivate you, but sometimes it's really nice to just go in alone and it's, you can kind of just get in your, get in your head and focus on a deeper part of yourself, I guess. It's therapeutical on a whole nother level when you're in there alone. Um, so that was really nice for me today. That being said though, it was very busy. I went at a busy time and it was, uh, I wanted like rush hour at like five o'clock. So I didn't want to film and get in people's way anyway. But on top of that, there's no way I really could have unless I set the camera up and I was doing chest and I was in the middle of people and the dumbbells. But man, today I, I looked, I think better than I have. Like I, definitely this whole prep, but I felt amazing. But um, thinking about that today, I decided that I wanna make this vlog more of me talking about something I think that we all struggle with. For one, accountability, and two, trusting in the process. Um, so touching base on accountability. It's so easy to go to the gym when you have a group of bros or girls or whatever it may be holding you accountable to go in, you guys, you know, like you get your lifting partners, you go in there together and you kill it and it's fun, and like, it's awesome to do that. You get hyped up with each other and you hold each other accountable. But when you're alone and you're doing it alone, um, it's a lot harder to hold yourself accountable. And training, everyone loves training. It's the simple part, it's the enjoyable part. Um, we choose to do it, it's a release. Um, it's satisfying, but what's not satisfying is things like this. And no one's here to see me right now. I could totally open up that cabinet and just eat an entire jar of peanut butter. Or I could totally open up that freezer and cook the frozen pizza that's inside of it or the tub of ice cream. But I choose not to. Why? No one would know right now. 
no one would know. I don't have to take a photo of it and put it on Instagram. It's, it's not a highlight, so why would I show it? What it comes down to is holding yourself accountable because of what truly matters to you, and I guess that's dedication. And the only way to get through hardships, the only way to get through these 11 p.m. cravings when I should I need to eat this and not what's in the freezer or the cabinet is remembering why I'm doing this in the first place. The key to holding yourself accountable is finding your why. It's a term we've many people have heard of, why we do what we do, and then just reminding ourselves of our why, remembering our why. Why did I start in the first place? Why did I pay an entry fee to do the Arnold? Why did I decide to compete? Why am I putting myself through this strain and stress and all of this to go step on stage? Because it means something to me. And that's enough reason for me to choose this meal over the freezer meal. It's enough reason for when I'm driving home from fast to cardio, absolutely starving, I don't stop at Wendy's. That's the reason why I come home and make my egg whites my first meal. Hold yourself accountable because of what matters most to you. And when no one's looking, do the right thing. That's gonna push you towards your goals. Second off, trusting in the process. Guys, I, this whole time I've been, it's been a mental battle. I always feel like I'm not gonna be ready. I need to work harder. I start pushing the diet a little too hard, which I've been trying, like that's why you need a coach. I try to do this without a coach right now because I'm a little prideful and I wanna be able to say that I did and I like experimenting with myself, but trust in the process. There's three steps, three steps to being successful. Step one is creating a plan. Step two is following the plan. Step three is trusting in that plan. And if the plan's simply not working and you've trusted it over, over and over again, make a new plan. Maybe hire a new coach or whatever it may be. But for those of you who have coaches, trust in their process. Trust in your process. Trust and believe in your capability and your work ethic. If you know you'll do what it takes, then trust that when it comes to show day or it comes to grind time or it comes down to the game, you're gonna show up because you know what you have within you and you know your capabilities. If you trust yourself, you should trust the process. So, something I still remind myself all the time. So I just want to take a quick moment to reflect on those few things tonight for today's vlog. It's not much of a vlog. I got one meal in there and then uh, this talking segment. But I'm holding myself accountable to uh, getting a video up every day this month for this prep. So tomorrow's back day. Um, like I said, I had a killer chest workout tonight, but tomorrow's back day and hopefully bring you guys in the gym for that one. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thumbs up, leave a comment, let's chat. Catch you guys tomorrow.